tonight. From AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. It's the NFC Wild Card Round on EA Sports. between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. Tonight we continue with Wild Card Weekend with what should be a great one between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Dallas Cowboys. everyone welcome to the postseason on EA Sports alongside Charles Davis I'm Brandon Gordon and Charles that's really all I need to say to get you fired up it's the postseason on EA Sports and no one's more fired up than the guys who are going to be playing in this game this is what they fought for all year long go back to the OTAs the mini camps training camp throughout the season to get to the playoffs the intensity level will be off the charts and a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30 yard line First look at the Cowboys offense as Dak Prescott gets ready to guide them. And technically, you'd still call him a young quarterback in this league, but he's now at that stage of his career where we're about to take the word young and remove it because he's been in this situation before. He's been in the playoffs. Now he wants to advance his team deep and find his way into a Super Bowl. He's ready to take the next step. A first down throw for Prescott. Got his man there complete to Gallup. Seven yards, the pick up there. Three yards remain for second down. Throwing, Prescott. He'll get this to Elliott. Fighting his way through contact. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Prescott looks to throw on first. The tight end Jarwin with it out on the left side. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Three yards the game there, second down. Now Prescott. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Cooper. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold him to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. To throw is Prescott. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Flushed out right. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. 
That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own. But as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you. And if you take off too quick to try and get him down. He... And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys will strike first here in this wild card matchup. So they take the opening kickoff and drive it all the way down the field. And that's the last thing you want defensively. On the road, in the playoffs, and now you're down a touchdown right away. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-0 Cowboys. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. This will be fielded inside the 5. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. Philly's offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. And he comes into this wild card round off of a really good regular season, better than 30 touchdown passes. And he said he feels like he can take some shots against his secondary. In fact, in our meeting, he said not only can he take shots, he expects to do it early. Sanders there with a first down carry that might have gotten a yard, if that, second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Hurt sets up to throw it. Eluding the pressure right. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. He delivers another to Goddard, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. But first down, Hurts. This is complete to Watkins on the slam. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride. And he was able to run free after the catch. A gain of six there on first. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. And this is caught in the end zone by Jalen Rager. Touchdown, Eagles. Jalen Rager there to make the grab. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying this thing up. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic. But usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short. And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed. And I think they're going to... Jake Elliott. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Elliott good on the extra point, and that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. Each team's had it, each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now, defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done. Oh, Prescott stripped. He's 
two teams all tied after one. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. There's Prescott. Man open, that's complete to Dalton Schultz. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First down, Prescott. And he'll go underneath here to Elliott. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Now Prescott to the left side and complete for Amari Cooper. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. The Cowboys on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. A give to Elliott. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped him. Bring it up fourth down. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. Greg Ward deep for Philadelphia. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. Throwing again on second down. Hurts. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. And able to get this one out just shy of the 25 at the 24. On first and 10, it's Hurts. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that could be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll make this a second and long. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Throwing his hurts. Flush to his right. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. With nowhere to throw it, decided to scramble, and a nice job, CD got the yardage that he needed. Yeah, and his teammates are certainly going to appreciate that effort, even if his coaches don't, because they would have wanted him to slide and protect himself. But he chose team gain over personal protection. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. And he whips that one incomplete there. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. It's a second down run with Sanders. And brought down but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Good running right there. And this is a man who's a 1,000-yard rusher in the regular season, so you know he's going to get his chances, and he picks up nice yardage on that one. Escaping the pressure right. Well, it's a shuffle pass, and it's complete. And he'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Two minutes to play here in this first half of the NFL playoffs. 
A reminder coming up at the half as we've done all year. We'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. Coach will have the lowdown on what's going on here in this wild card weekend as we begin on the road to Super Bowl 53 in Atlanta. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they showed passing formation, showing the shotgun, and they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. This has been a good drive so far, and it's been the running game for the most part that's powered them down there. Another nice burst there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and ten, as you said, in the red zone. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. That one whistled against a big right tackle. You'd think being able to fire out and block, it'd be a lot easier to not commit a holding penalty, but it's tough to keep those guys right in front, isn't it? Hurts throw complete to Rager. They get 14 yards, but not enough for the first down due to the previous penalty. On second down now. It's Sanders, and he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. This is a very impressive drive, especially when you consider where they started from to now be set up first and goal. Yeah, it's a nice running right there. That's what got them the first down. But at this point, I suggest open up your playbook. You can call just about what you want. From the two now, second and goal. They'll try to run with Sanders. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Miles Sanders as the first half is winding down. And the Eagles have taken the lead. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. Now that Eagle offense will stay out there as he'll go for two. Hertz will throw. And they're going to get the two-point conversion. This one's caught. And it stretches their lead up to eight. He hits the big target for the two-point try. <laughs> Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. So we come upon halftime here in this NFC wild card matchup. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a day it's been so far. This the third of our Saturday triple header. Three more to come tomorrow as the NFL playoffs are officially underway. But first, let's take a look ahead to Sunday's action in the NFC. A 3-6 battle that ought to be a good one as it'll be the Arizona Cardinals squaring off against the Los Angeles Rams. Meanwhile, in our game, it took a little while to get settled in, but we're in for a battle royale in this second half. And to call the action, let's go back to the guys who've been there all year, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. And he's able to get it across the 20 to the 25-yard line. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. And they're in the position they expected to be in. They've got the lead, home crowd behind them, and they're looking toward making that next step in these playoffs. And I think a key for them is to put together some good, long, extended drives. Work to run in a little more with that big offensive line. I'm not saying get away from throwing the football. That's still working. But if they run it more effectively, they may get even bigger plays in the passing game. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Here's Hurts to throw. Flushed out right. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 
He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space. Touchdown, Philadelphia! Quez Watkins, 33 yards. And the Eagles add on to their lead. When you're a great route runner, it makes you that much better as a receiver because now your quarterback trusts that you're going to be where he expects and he's able to deliver the ball on time. Now that Eagle offense will stay out there as he'll go for two. They'll try and throw for it. And he's going to go down. Can't get rid of it. So a sack on a two-point try. So trying to throw it in for two points, but the D got home, brought him down. He yeah, got home, which means there had to be good coverage. Just had nowhere to go with the ball. Typically, you try and throw quick hitters, quick slants, you know, maybe even a quick fade. Nothing was open. He ends up getting sacked. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 right at the 30. He'll hand it off to Elliott to begin the drive. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. They go to Elliott again. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. A first down carry by Elliott. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. He finds his target. It's Schultz. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw. Prescott. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Be honest about the whole thing. When you're looking for a reliable set of hands on third down, the first thought is often not fullback. But that's who they turn to there. And he does a nice job of securing the football and picking up the first down. Seven yards to pick up there. Second down and three. fullback Alex Arma and a lot of talent on this Eagle defense and you've seen it on these last two plays both losses here's the seventh play of this drive this is third and four out of the gun here's Prescott looking for Cooper that's complete and he will have a Cowboys first down they needed four he doubled that he wound up getting eight and Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. I know a lot of times we like to put players in certain boxes. He does this and he does that. But this guy, he can do a little bit of everything. He's not just a lead blocker or a guy who protects the passer. Handing the ball, he might want to get out of the way. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Ten carry now for Allen. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Got to figure this is one they need here on third and goal. Prescott to throw it. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. C.D. Lamb, his second touchdown of the night. And the Cowboys have cut it to within a score. 
And no Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? And, you know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're, you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that into the broadcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. Zerline good with a PAT. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. Tackle there by Leighton Vander Esch. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They go again with Scott. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. From the gun, it's Hurts. That is caught. It's the tight end, Goddard. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. One quarter remains in this NFC wild card matchup. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Hurts. And he's going to have the hook up to Scott. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Keanu Neal. And a big return will get him all the way down to the 35. A seismic shift in momentum here in the fourth quarter. That's the break that the defense needed. And you know as well as I do, people are going to question the play call in that situation. Sometimes you have to question the execution, not necessarily the call. And in this case, those defenders found a way to give their team a chance. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Following the interception, here's Prescott. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. That is caught at the seven. And all the way down inside the five to the four. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there. And now they're looking at a first and goal. Elliott is going to go backwards. He'll lose yardage back to the five. Play three of the drive, not as successful. They go backwards after those two first down gains. Back at the five-yard line now, second and goal. Prescott. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. A big win there defensively on second and goal. A loss of seven, and it brings up third. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. This is a big play in this wild card matchup, facing third and goal. Prescott from the gun toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Zerline's kick is up and through. 
And that'll bring him back within four. Well, he was a spectator for much of this game. This is his first field goal opportunity of the entire contest, but he's able to connect. Yeah, he had a pretty good seat to this one, didn't he? But let's face it, all kickers that you and I know, they want to contribute, they want their opportunity, and he seized his. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And this a very important drive leading in the fourth quarter of this wild card game. But this one far from over as they start out here first down. And he is finally out of bounds, but not before taking it down inside the 30. A big play there for Philly. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. He's got Dallas Goddard, his tight end over the middle. And down inside the 15 he goes. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. The safety, Keanu Neal there to make the tackle. Scott with it again on second. And he's going to work this one down to about the five. Call it an eight-yard gain. Much better shape now on third and just a yard. And they'll try and run for it with Gainwell. And the Eagles are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Scott is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Well, that's certainly going to bump up the old win probability index because now it's a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you're taking me into that deep water now. Win probability index. This game's definitely not over. We're not looking at a half percent or something. It's just two scores. But the way that this team has played, to me, what I've seen, they absolutely deserve to win this game. They've been the better team by far throughout. Elliott on for the extra point. And oh my goodness, this is nowhere close. Well to the right and no good. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. From his end zone, Wilson. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. If they want to advance in this divisional round, look, obviously the time is now. Trailing here in the fourth as they go to work on a crucial, crucial drive, first and ten. And he's got some space here. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. What a throw right there for the first down. He has taken some real punishment in this game, but still standing in the pocket completing that one. He's a flat-out warrior. There's no question about that. How about him stepping up into the teeth of the rush and delivering there for that big strike and that big pickup? So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Quick hitter here, it's complete. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be third and ten. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Prescott. He finds his man complete. That's Schultz. First down now, but that clock rolling. To throw, Prescott. Looking middle, and that's complete. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. 
He finds his man complete. That's Schultz. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 14. Now Dak. And a high throw there as this is knocked away down to the ground and incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Dak. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. Prescott urging his guys to go quickly. They need to get up and set. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off down near the five. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. And a wild card win moves them on to the divisional round. Everyone plays all year long for the right to get into the tournament, as they like to call it. Wild card divisional doesn't matter to them. One moves on, one goes home. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from AT&T Stadium.